With your Apple Watch, you can quickly reply to a message, snap a picture with your iPhone, and a whole lot more. Here are 10 Apple Watch tips you should know. When you need help finding your iPhone, touch and hold the bottom of the display. Then swipe up to open Control Center and look for the Ping iPhone button. A single tap makes your iPhone ping. And if you touch and hold, your iPhone pings and flashes to help you look for it in the dark. Multitasking? Use your Apple Watch to set multiple timers to track what you're doing. Start by opening the Timers app and setting your first timer. Say, 40 minutes for the sourdough to bake. Then tap back in the top left of the screen and set another timer. Tap back again to see the timers you have running. Going in the water? If you start a swimming workout, water lock will turn on automatically. For anything else, tap the water lock button in Control Center to avoid accidental taps on the watch face. When you're done, quickly turn the digital crown to turn off water lock, unlock the display, and clear water from the speakers. You can customize your Apple Watch by changing complications, which display added information and actions on your watch face. First, touch and hold the display, then tap Edit. Next, swipe left all the way to the end and tap a complication to change it. Turn the digital crown to browse the options and tap to choose one. Press the digital crown to save your changes and press it again to see your new watch face. You can also customize the home screen to view apps in a list and rearrange or delete apps. Just touch and hold anywhere on the home screen. Then, if you want to see your apps displayed in a list rather than a grid, tap List View. To rearrange or delete apps, tap Edit Apps. Tap the X to delete an app or drag the app to a new position to rearrange your home screen. Then, press the digital crown when you're done. Take a photo at a distance using your Apple Watch and your iPhone. First, open the camera remote app on your watch and position your iPhone. Use your Apple Watch as the viewfinder to frame your shot. Then, tap the timer to give everyone a chance to get ready. Or, Tap the More button in the bottom right for other options, such as taking the photo without the countdown. If you hear a song and want to know what it is, just press and hold the digital crown and ask Siri. What song is this? When you're listening to audio, you can switch from one paired Bluetooth device to another right on your watch. In Now Playing, tap the AirPlay button and select a new device. You can quickly reply to an iMessage with a tap back. Just double tap a message in a conversation and select a tap back. To quickly silence an alert, like an incoming phone call or one of your timers, just rest the palm of your hand on the watch display. Ooh, bread's ready. Now that you know these tips, keep exploring to discover what else you can do with your Apple Watch. You can also learn about more Apple Watch features. If your iCloud storage is running low, there are a few things you can do to make room. We'll show you how to upgrade to iCloud Plus and share some tips on how to manage your storage. Let's see how to get more storage with iCloud Plus. In settings, tap your name and then tap iCloud. Here, you can see how much space you're using. If you want to subscribe to iCloud Plus, tap Manage Storage. Then tap Upgrade or Change Storage Plan, depending on your current iCloud usage. You can select the plan that's right for you and follow the prompts to upgrade. If you're new to iCloud Plus, you'll get new features like Private Relay, Hide My Email, and expanded HomeKit Secure Video support.
You can also manage your iCloud storage by deleting files and documents you no longer need. When you delete something in iCloud, it's deleted across all your synced devices. Before you start, be sure to make a copy, either on your computer or an external hard drive, of anything you plan on deleting in iCloud but want to save. In your iCloud storage settings, you'll see your apps using iCloud, listed by the amount of space they take up. You can use this as a reference to help you decide what to remove, like duplicate pictures and videos in the Photos app, iCloud Drive documents you no longer need in the Files app, and attachments from conversations if you've turned on messages in iCloud. Try this. In a messages conversation, tap the contact at the top and scroll down. You'll see photos, videos, documents, and other things you've shared or that have been shared with you in this conversation. You can tap See All to view and delete anything you no longer want to store in iCloud or keep on your devices. With Find My, you can keep track of your Apple devices and supported items like your keys with an AirTag attached and share your location with your favorite people. We'll show you how to turn on Find My, how to locate a device or item, and how to share your location. When you sign into iCloud on a new device, Find My turns on automatically. To adjust it, open Settings, tap your name, tap Find My, and tap Find My iPhone. If Find My is set up on your iPhone, your paired Apple Watch, AirPods, and Beats headphones will automatically be set up too. If you turn on Send Last Location, your device sends its location to Apple if its battery is critically low, so you can see its last known location if the battery dies. To help locate a missing device or item, open the Find My app on another device signed in with the same Apple ID, or a device that belongs to a member of your family sharing group. Or you can sign in to iCloud.com find on any mobile device or desktop browser. To locate a missing item, like an AirTag attached to your keys, tap Items. If you're looking for a missing device, tap Devices. Here, you'll see a list of your devices with Find My enabled and a map with their last known locations. Select a device, then swipe up on the handle to see your options. To help find a nearby device, tap Play Sound. Your device plays a chime, like this. Or you can tap Directions to see it on a map and track it down. If you'd like to receive a notification when you accidentally leave one of your devices behind, you can turn on Notify when left behind. If your device is far away or in an unfamiliar location, you can tap Activate under Mark is Lost. This remotely locks your device with its passcode and lets you display a message with your contact information on its screen in case someone finds it. The device must be connected to the internet to activate lost mode. Think your device is lost for good? You can erase it remotely by tapping Erase this device. Once you do this, you can still track your device, and if you do eventually find it, you'll have to restore it from a previously saved backup. You can also use the Find My app to share your location with family and friends. Tap the People tab. Anyone sharing their location with you will be listed here. Tap Share My Location. Choose a contact. And tap Send. Then decide how long to share your location. Your friend gets a notification and can choose to share their location back with you. And that's how to use Find My to keep track of what's most important to you. Stay connected with Find My. For more tips, subscribe to the Apple Support Channel or click another video to keep watching.